Before we start today's episode, we would like to recognize the three-year anniversary of the shooting in Parkland. I stand with 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 Parkland. We stand with Parkland. Parkland. Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Friday, February 12th. I'm Matthew. And I'm Chloe, and this is Season 5, Episode 10 of EATV. With Valentine's Day around the corner once again, the COVID-19 pandemic has made it hard to plan date ideas that follow the new guidelines. Luckily, some of our seniors are here to help give you some COVID-friendly date ideas. Here's the clip. Valentine's Day is coming up. Because of the pandemic, it is probably very difficult to think of COVID-friendly date night ideas. But don't worry, I'm here to tell you about one unique idea that you and your loved one can do on Valentine's Day. A nice movie night out in your backyard. This is a thoughtful and memorable date night, that's for sure. Start off by decorating your backyard. Add some lights, some pillows, and blankets to put on top of towels. Lastly, the most important part is getting a small projector to watch the movie on. Now on to the next idea. Valentine's Day is coming up, folks. And you know what that means. A whole bunch of ideas, going out, doing something fun. But sadly due to COVID, it's gonna be a lot harder to do those things but here are a couple of ideas that could help out. First idea is stay in movie night because everyone likes movies. You could get some popcorn, get some snacks, just stay in. Or the next idea is to make it a little bit more fun, you could just play games, whether on PS4, Xbox, or just board games and just have a fun time. Are you interested in knowing our top five picks for pop culture couples? Stick around for our new segment, The Vibes. All right, guys, welcome back to The Vibes. You know The Vibes? Um, today we're reviewing what? What are we reviewing? Um, top. We're going through a list of all of our pop culture iconic couples, and we're going to give our very personal opinions on each of them. You want us to, like, share screen it, or we're just going to... I'm going to count them all for you, because I, I, I have the list here. We can just go for it. Yeah, let's go for it. Cool. I'm going to just... Uh, I'm gonna, Lay it off. I'm gonna, number one, Lois Lane and Superman. <laughs> Get out of here. I hate that. I much, I much prefer him with Wonder Woman. I hate Lois Lane so much. She's so boring. She really is. It's just the most really like, is. yeah. She's always typical couple yeah. you think of. Yeah, I know. Strong man and uh, she always Dance falls for Superman and not Clark. Yeah, she likes she likes Superman. She never fell in love with Clark. That always made me sad. Okay, number two. Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. This has got to be my number one. Oh my I gosh, them. I completely forgot about that, if yeah. I'm going to be honest. So did I. Didn't they divorce they at some point? Weekly, they, so. they divorced at some point. You know that, right? They did? Yeah, that was like a modern That's family. That's right, they there did. There was a modern family style and Muppet show. Like, right, right around the time the movie came out with, with uh, Amy Adams. And uh, they divorced in the, like the second episode or first episode. They Amy did. Adams. I forgot about that too. Oh my god, dude! Their child looks—he's gone. I feel bad for him. Okay, <laughs> he's gone. Jim ha Jim Halper and Pam Beasley from yes, The sir. Office. Easy OTP. Easy, very easy. I'm gonna say I, I never watched The Office them, either. But I do know about them. Yeah, like I know I know about yes, them, but I never actually watched The Office. I never got into it. It's not my kind of humor. Well, you know what? Your your hand was bad. <laughs> okay, Homer and Marge Simpson. I that, I don't even need to stay listed, uh, obviously. Damn. All right, so this is clearly not a very updated list, but I'm gonna put Wanda and Vision. 
The show is out. 100%. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the most 100%. toxic. 150. What are you talking about? 100 percent. 150. 150 <laughs> percent. Yeah. It's a very toxic couple. She's obviously manipulating him, but they love each other very much, and that's all I care about. As so does Disney. After all, it has both their names in the show. I don't know so. if she is manipulating him. That You know, it was Loki a good but toxic couple? Dwight and Angela. That is such a toxic couple that I they're, love. It is, but they're fun to watch. Yeah. They truly deserve each other. How about the, the Hulk and Black Widow? No. They had no. something. No. no. Get out. We're done. We're done, We're done with this podcast. Well, no, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> it's like it's, it's over. <laughs> cut. Cut. Let us know what you guys think of uh, our opinions on top five on top couples and if you have a list of your top couples just let us know that's all for today have a great day and keep the bulldog pride alive go, go bulldogs, bulldogs.